This police videotape is one of the pieces of evidence jurors might get to see. One of the boys present when 15-year-old Michael Brewer was set on fire, pointing out exactly where things happened at a Deerfield Beach housing complex almost three years ago. Did you see this burn area on fire? I seen like over there, yeah, a what little did, bit. What did you see on fire? I seen his shirt on fire. With burns on 65% of his body, it wasn't clear Brewer would survive. It's cold stuff all of, all of my clothes, and all of a sudden it started burning. Detectives interviewed him in the hospital. I'm like, run, run. So I run, I jump, I jump to the fence, and I jump into the pool. Facing a charge of second-degree attempted murder is this teenager, Matthew Bent, now 17. Two other boys pleaded no contest, the ones who doused Brewer with rubbing alcohol and the one who admitted using a lighter. Bent is accused of being the ringleader. He rejected a plea and is going to trial, but prosecutors may have a tough time. One of the things that's difficult about this case is that you actually have to show that Mr. Bent has said something. Everything turns on what he's actually said because he didn't commit any physical acts against the victim. Another problem, the fact that jurors will have to weigh statements from teenagers. To put their display or their or to know exactly how to express sympathy or sincerity. It's really difficult for teenagers to do and so it's going to be a, a very strong challenge for the jury to adequately assess those things. Brewer spent months in the hospital followed by rehabilitation and has since moved to a new town. The trial is expected to last up to two weeks. Bent faces up to 30 years in prison if convicted. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Miami.